Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up? It's your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants. I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Got another great video for you guys today, as usual. And today, we're going to do a requested video that I was thinking about doing, but I really wasn't sure if I wanted to talk about it or not. And one of the subscribers, or one of my subscribers had asked my opinion. And it was the opinion or my opinion on the whole situation with Jerry Krause and the Chicago Bulls ring of honor ceremony and how they were booing Jerry Krause, you know, his legacy, his memory, uh, because as we all know, Jerry Krause uh, passed away, I believe in 2017, I want to say. And, you know, a lot of people are saying that the Bulls fans were classless and, you know, it was embarrassing to be a Chicago Bulls fan and for the people of Chicago to, to boo him and his wife was there and, and all these things. And I thought about doing a video on it, but this subscriber, shout out to George Bryce, uh, asked my opinion on this. So, you know what? I'll do a video on it, man, and I'll talk about it. I'll touch, and I'll tell you, like, what, what I think about the situation. And I want to thank you guys, man. Everybody across the world, everybody across the states, man, has been supporting my channel. I'm truly humbled, guys, by all the support, man. It really means a lot to me. Truly, truly humbled. All your comments, you guys subscribing, watching my videos. It means a lot, guys. So thanks to everybody out there. And you guys know what to do. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So, yes, guys. Now, I know this could be a touchy subject for some people. Jerry Krause, like I said, has passed away some years ago. And we never want to talk bad about someone when they're dead, right? I'm the kind of person where I like to say things to people's faces, say things about people, you know, when they're around, right? There's no need to trash people when they're dead, so to speak. However, when I, when I looked into this Jerry Krause situation as it pertains to the ring ceremony, uh, the ring of honor ceremony, and the fans there booing Jerry Krause's, like I said, his memory, his legacy, there's something we must think about. Now, do I believe the Chicago Bulls fans showed no class by booing Jerry Krause? We could argue that. We could debate whether it was a classless move by the Chicago Bulls fans. However, there's a deeper issue here that we must think about. And I talk about these kinds of things on my channel. So this is all relatable. I've told you guys on this channel many times that this is never personal. It's never personal, right? It's always been about the basketball players that we're talking about, right? The athletes in general. This is never about them as people, the person. It's about what we watch them do in their given sport, their given profession, right? It's not personal with them. I do not know these people personally. I can't reiterate this enough. So when we think about the Chicago Bulls fans booing Jerry Krause, and we think about something like your legacy, right? What you leave behind, your memory. And I talked to you guys on this channel about respect, right? And how you earn the respect of other people, right? We must think about some of these things when it pertains to uh, Jerry Krause. Now, for me, once again, I do not know Jerry Krause personally, obviously. And I am not trying to tear a man down or badmouth a man who's dead. However, for me personally, what I believe or what I view of Jerry Krause, how he came across to me as a fan on the outside looking in. It seemed to me that Jerry Krause wanted more credit than he deserved. He wanted more credit than he was entitled to. Because when we think about being a general manager, an executive, right, for a professional organization, a team, whatever the sport is, you guys tell me, does anybody know who the executive was for the 1986 Boston Celtics that won the championship? Do you know who their executive, their GM was? Do you guys know the GM for the Los Angeles Showtime Lakers in the 80s? Does anybody know who the executive was for the 1967 Philadelphia 76ers? Does anybody know who the executive was for the San Antonio Spurs of the 2000s? Or who the executive was for the three-peat L.A., Kobe, and Shaq Lakers. The point I'm making here, guys, 
is that most people do not know who these people are. They have no idea. You're so walking down the street, you would not know this person was the general manager for this team or this person was the executive for that team. You wouldn't know these people. You wouldn't know them from a hole in the wall. And why is that? Because these people never searched and looked for the fame or the credit that they were not just due, that they were not entitled to. They didn't make it all about themselves. They made it about the team, right? For someone like a Jerry Krause, though, he's always wanted the credit that a Michael Jordan received. He always wanted the credit that a Phil Jackson received or a Scottie Pippen. He wanted just as much credit or that's how it seemed from me as a fan. When you hear the things that he said over the years about the organizations or the ones that win the championships, not the players. When you say things like that, right? It shows, one, that you're not self-aware of the actual facts and the reality to the situation. And also, once again, that you come across as someone who's not giving everyone else their just due. Someone who is out for their own shine. People say that he had a complex about him, right? This is how people talk and describe him because of his short stature. So they would say that he had a Napoleon complex. So he had to always pump his chest out. Right? And let you know what he done. Always looking for credit. This is how Jerry Cross, Krause always came across. Whether it's right or wrong. Whether it's right the way that we view him as that way or it's wrong. That's how he came across. People talk about the Last Dance documentary. And they talked about how Michael Jordan somehow tried to make it seem like, you know, or tried to, you know, diminish Jerry Krause's memory or his legacy in that documentary. And all that was doing was highlighting who Jerry Krause was. Because what really bothers me, the one thing that bothered me, whether or not it was right that the fans booed or not, the one thing that I noticed when I read some of the comments in some of these videos that people put out is that there were people blaming Michael Jordan. They were actually trying to blame Michael Jordan for Jerry Krause's legacy, for the way that he's remembered. That has nothing to do with Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan did not make Jerry Krause act the way that he act, acted, say the things that he said. This was the same man that said that Phil Jackson would never be back to coach, even if the Bulls went 82-0. He said they wouldn't be back, even if they went 82-0. So once again, Michael Jordan didn't make him say that. This is Jerry Krause's mindset. This is the way that he was. This is him. So for people to say that the Chicago Bulls fans were booing Jerry Krause and they want to say and blame it on Michael Jordan because Michael Jordan didn't like Jerry Krause, that has nothing to do with Michael Jordan. Yes, Michael Jordan and Jerry Krause did not get along. Neither did Phil Jackson. Neither did Scottie Pippen. A lot of that had to do with Jerry Krause. He must take ownership of the way that he left his legacy. His legacy is because of him. It's not because of Michael Jordan. The decisions that we make in our lives, right? The things that we say, the way that we act, the way that we carry ourselves. I'm always telling you guys on this channel, man, you must carry yourself with honor, integrity, because that's how you get the respect. Carry yourself with class. That's how you earn the respect of people. Yes, they may not like you, but they respect you. Jerry Krause never got the respect. He lost the respect of the Chicago Bulls fans. Obviously, they're booing this man after he's been dead. So they do not obviously respect this man. And why don't they respect him? Because Jerry Krause broke up one of the greatest dynasties in NBA's history. Because of his ego. Because he wanted the credit that he had no right even deserving. You're a general manager of a basketball team. You got your just due. He was named executive of the year, I believe, two times in his career. So you are obviously recognized by the NBA. You're in the Hall of Fame. So you are obviously recognized by the NBA. The Chicago Bulls won six championships when you were there. That should have been good enough to satisfy, right, 
and make him humble, Jerry Krause. But it wasn't enough. He needed to get the spotlight like Michael Jordan did, like Phil Jackson, like Scottie Pippen, like the players. He needed to be seen on that level. When no other GM in NBA's history has ever been viewed on that level. No one. Red Auerbach was the coach and the executive of the Dynasty Celtics in the, six, in, the, in the 60s. He was the coach and the GM. So that's why people talk about Red Auerbach. Right? He was also the coach. He was a pioneer. But like I told you, you name me executives from any other dynasty. Who are they? You don't know who these people are. You would never be able to even recognize these people. But I tell you what, you know who Jerry Krause is though, right? You know who Jerry Krause is because Jerry Krause made it that way. By the way that he carried himself throughout his time when he was alive. Which goes all the way back now to the beginning of this thing, guys. And the Chicago Bulls fans booing Jerry Krause's memory, his legacy, and his wife being there. Now, like I said, I'm not saying it was right or wrong. And I do not believe they were booing Jerry Krause's wife. They weren't booing her because she was very upset, visibly upset, and rightfully so. However, once again, we must think about something. This goes back to Jerry Krause and the legacy that he left for his family. Remember, guys, this is not just about you. When you carry yourself with integrity, with respect, with honor, with class, when you live by a certain set of principles and values, right? Not money and the fame, right? But being a decent person, right? And understanding the facts and the reality that Michael Jordan and the Bulls, the players, they were the ones that deserved to receive most of the credit. Not you, Jerry Krause, but he could never understand that. So all these years later, he does not have the respect of the people, of the fans, this is a legacy he left for his wife. That goes more on Jerry Krause than those fans that were booing. Because they were booing him. They were not booing her. I mean, I can't speak for all those people, but that's what I'm going to assume. They were not booing her. They were booing him and his memory, the legacy, what he left behind. And what's his legacy, guys? His legacy is being known as one of the people that was very instru instru <coughs> instrumental in the Bulls dynasty being broken up after the 1998 season. When you tell Phil Jackson that you can go 82-0 and 0 and we'll never bring you back. When Michael Jordan begs and pleads basically saying, you know, we have every right to defend our championship to go until we lose. We've earned that right. He's absolutely right. On the money. They earned that right. All the players in the locker room. The coaching staff. Not you, Jerry Krause. They're the ones putting in the work. They're the ones out there in practice doing the suicide sprints. Has Jerry Krause ever done a suicide sprint? I don't believe so. Was he in the practice with them? Jerry Krause got the credit he deserved. He was recognized on the Chicago Bulls by the NBA, by the organization, by the owner, which is why he was a general manager for many years. He received the credit he deserved. But for someone like a Jerry Krause, he has a Scottie Pippen syndrome where he wants more credit than he deserved. That was always his problem. So look at Scottie Pippen. The Chicago Bulls, Scottie Pippen wasn't at the ceremony. Michael Jordan was not at the ceremony. Dennis Rodman was not at the ceremony. And a large part of that has to do with Scottie Pippen and the way that he's carried himself and conducted himself over the last several years now. He made this entire situation with Michael Jordan and all the other Chicago Bulls players very awkward and very heated and contested when it shouldn't have been. But Scottie Pippen wanted his just due that he felt he never got. He wanted some fake shine. So he got that shine. And what did it do? All it did was tear down Scottie Pippen's career, his resume, his legacy. We exposed him. And Jerry Krause, it's a similar thing. He earned those boos from the fans, guys. I hate to say that. To me, that's what I think, or what I think. This is the way that I've seen that. Once again, I'm not saying it was right or wrong for the people to do that. And like I said, I do not believe they were booing him because he was dead or to boo his wife. They were booing what he represented, the way that he carried himself, the legacy that he left for his family. 
This is what Jerry Krause is going to be, his legacy. And he did not seem to really care about that when he was alive, apparently. Because for him to act that way and carry himself in that manner all those years, never really coming out and saying, yo, I was wrong, man. The players deserved all the credit. I was just being, you know, a certain way. He never did these things. So what's left for him and his family is what happened the other night. The booze. Like I said, whether it's right or wrong, people can say it's class is all they want. Jerry Krause did not conduct himself with class when he was alive. And once again, this is not personal. I do not know Jerry Krause, the father, the husband, the best friend, none of that stuff. I'm talking about Jerry Krause, the executive. What he's shown us and gave us on the video footage as him and as it pertains to his interactions with Phil Jackson, Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, the entire Chicago Bulls, and his feelings towards the players, the credit that they got for winning the championships, and how somehow he was the reason that they were winning. It was him putting the team together. Jerry Krause did not draft Michael Jordan. That was part of the problem for Jerry Krause. He didn't draft Michael Jordan, so Michael Jordan did not feel the need to bow down to him the way that Jerry Krause wanted. Jerry Krause wanted Pippen, or credit for Pippen and Grant, right, and, and guys like that. He didn't want to give Michael Jordan any credit for working with those guys in practice year after year after year, pushing them to be great, to work with what he gave him. Did Jerry Krause draft any all-time great players? Who? We must be real here. He drafted Scottie Pippen, who was turned into an all-time great due to Michael Jordan. Not due to Jerry Krause. It was due to Michael Jordan's tutelage, being a big brother, being a leader. That had nothing to do with Jerry Krause, man. Yes, Jerry Krause brought him in, but he was nobody. He was an unknown. Horace Grant, an unknown. B.J. Armstrong, an unknown. All these moves that they've made, Right? Michael Jordan made these guys greater. He maximized the roster that Jerry Krause gave him. He worked with the hand he was dealt. He didn't ask Jerry Krause for trades. He didn't ask him for free agents. Jerry Krause himself even said that. So for people to blame Michael Jordan for the reaction of the fans all these years later is hilarious, man, and it's delusional. It makes no sense. That's going to do with Michael Jordan. The legacy that Jerry Krause left for his wife, his family, all falls on Jerry Krause. Nobody else. His actions are his own. The way that people feel about him is because of him, not Michael Jordan or Phil Jackson or Scottie Pippen or the fans. They have every right to feel a certain way. Once again, they were not booing his wife to laugh at a dead man. But once again, Jerry Krause earned those boos. He did. And if Scottie Pippen would have been there, they probably would have booed him too. Because he would have earned those. A lot of those Chicago fans would have booed him. Remember, guys, this has nothing to do with Michael Jordan, man. However Michael Jordan felt about Jerry Krause, I don't even... Once again, as a fan growing up watching this stuff, I didn't even know who Jerry Krause was. I should not know who Jerry Krause was. And I should not care about Jerry Krause, the general manager. I should never care about him. I should never have to know about the general... Who cares about the general managers of these organizations? They get recognized in the organization. Jerry Krause wanted to be a rock star, man. He wanted to be the reason. He wanted his face on the, on the front of everybody else. That's insane, man. And all these years later, the Chicago Bulls have not forgot what he did and how he treated the Bulls, how he thought he was bigger than everybody else. The Bulls won six championships in eight years, right? They won three in a row twice. They're going into another three-peat to try to go for another one. And you tell the players going into that season, no matter what you do, you're gone. No matter what Phil does, Michael Jordan begging and pleading these guys, please. Jerry Reinsdorf, oh, we would have brought him back. Man, stop it. These guys are trying to save face years later. Jerry Reinsdorf is another clown. They should have booed Jerry Reinsdorf. If they didn't, they should definitely boo him. He deserves more boos than Jerry Krause does. He's another fool. All these people who got money, they think that they're smarter and better than everybody else because they have the money. They have the power. That's not how it works. You get that stuff off the backs of the other people. All these rich people in the world, man, they get their stuff off the backs of the commoners. And Jerry Krause forgets that stuff, man. And Jerry Reinsdorf, they seem to forget these things. Yes, you guys are important 
but you're not the most important thing. It was always was and always will be Michael Jordan and those players. You guys know the deal, man. Once again, I'm not saying it was right or wrong for them to boo this man. But once again, I believe Jerry Krause earned those boos. He sure as hell earned it, guys. That's his legacy. The way that you carry and conduct yourself throughout your life, guys, the decisions you make, the principles that you live by, the standards you hold yourself to, it all comes back. When you're dead, it doesn't matter because you're dead now. We're going to feel a certain way about you because now you're dead. No, that's not valid for people to say that. Oh, Jerry Krause is dead and these people are still holding on to a grudge. No, that's his legacy. That's what he left behind as a general manager. I've told you, it's not personal. Those people, if they were booing because they don't like him, it was personal, whatever. For me, I'm just talking to you and giving you the facts off of him as a general manager. That's the only way I know him. I don't know him as a person. So I can't judge him as a person. I'm judging him as the general manager of the Chicago Bulls. How he came across. We should not know this man the way that we do. You could pick out Jerry Krause's face in a lineup. You couldn't pick out any executive general manager's face in any team. No. Only Jerry Krause, though. Why is that? Because he had the big mouth and he wanted to be known. He wanted to be Michael Jordan. It's crazy, man. Once again, not bad mouthing him. Don't know him the person. But as a general manager, he earned those boos. He sure as hell did, guys. I don't know if you guys agree with me on this or not, but that's just my feelings on this, man. Once again, you must carry and conduct yourself with the way that you want to be remembered. Just because you die does not mean that people should change the view or change the way that you lived your life or the memory of how you lived your life. The money and the fame means nothing when you're dead. All you have left to leave your family is your legacy. How you were, your integrity, your honor, the respect people have for you when you're gone. That's how you know how you impact people when you're not around. You guys know the deal, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one.